What's going on guys, Seth here from Team Union Seth, here as the coach of the Philadelphia Feroes for our Week 3 matchup versus the Florida Alligators in the ISL, or the International Showdown League. Um, so I believe my opponent is 1-1, one and one. Uh, we are 2-0, and oh. so we are actually in second place in the league, first place in our division, so we're doing pretty well, we had a really good match last week, um, I'm feeling good about the team, I'm feeling very very good about how I'm playing as well. So as you guys know, my team, I have Greninja, Magirna, Megalodios, Infernape, Nidoking, Primarina, Shaman, Donphan, Jolteon, Miltank, Euxemus, Magius, and the Walterium Z. And the Feraligators have Kieran Black, Ronan Wash, Mimikyu, Superior, Raikou, Mega Agron, Decidueye, Rhyperior, Pangoro, Vivalon, Delphox, Viper, and the Dragonium Z. So that Dragonium Z with the Kieran Black can be pretty scary. Uh, he also does have Superior, which could potentially run it, so that could be a little bit dangerous for, uh, for our Lottie, considering it does have speed. Uh, I believe Agron gets some, some Dragon moves as well, uh, but obviously he has to have that Mega Zone. Uh, Rhyperior, I think gets, I know it gets Dragon Tail, I'm not sure if he gets any other Dragon moves. Um, so we do have to watch out for that a little bit, he could be aiming for my Mega Latias with that Dragonium Z. <clears throat> but we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, first up, we have that Mega Latias, like we had mentioned. We are running a Calm Mindset again, again this week, except we are not defensive. So, Calm Mind, Psychic, Surf, and Roost. Basically, uh, first of all, it outspeeds Kyurem. So, any speed Kyurem, uh, if it's not Scarf, we outspeed. Uh, <clears throat> basically, we have to hit the Mimikyu, so get rid of its disguise, and get the plus two. Then, once we get Rocks up, we can sweep. So, this thing is a really, really good matchup. It does very well once it gets the plus two. If we can even get the plus three, that's even better. Uh, potentially roost off the damage. So we could be able to set up on a couple things. We can set up on the Rotom. We can potentially set up on the Superior if it doesn't have Dragon Poles, or even if it does, if we get up one or two Combines before it comes in, that's a good option. Uh, Raikou we could potentially set up on, the Agron. Um, <clears throat> a couple different options there. Delphox we can definitely set up on. Um, so we do have a, a couple different options there. So we will be able to set up pretty decently, and we can roost and Combine and play some games there. Psychic hits pretty much everything on his team, and then Surf takes care of the rest, like the Mega Aggro does more to Rhyperior, and the Pangoro. So this thing does really, really well, and I'm really excited to see what we can do with this one. Next up, we're finally bringing our Magirna. Um, I realized, like, the last two weeks, we have Magirna in a league, and we didn't bring it. So I, I knew I had to bring it this week. Uh, it does have a good matchup. We are running an Assault Vest with Soul Heart, uh, and Volt Switch, Shadow Ball, Floor Cannon, and Energy Ball. Full switch just for momentum, so I can you know, switch in and out. His only ground type, his only electric immunity is the Rhyperior, so Volt Switch is going to be pretty good. Shadow Ball is mainly just for the Decidueye, uh, and even for the Mimikyu potentially if necessary. Uh, we have Floor Cannon to handle a lot of things, and Oko is the Kyurem. Obviously, Oko is the Pangoro, so it does a lot of damage. Um, and then Energy Ball is there for the Rotom and for the Rhyperior, so. This thing is mainly just to take hits from the special threats like Raikou or Superior, or even Rotom, uh, potentially Vivalon if it wants to set up. Uh, a little bit for Delphox, uh, we can do a decent amount with Shadow Ball. And then it's also our main check for the Cure of Black. So Earth Power does, I believe, about 25 to 30% uh, with the Assault Vest, and then a Fusion Bolt does about 30 to 35. So we can come in and take a hit, fire off a Floor Cannon on anything that wants to come in. So we're pretty solid here. Just max special defense, uh, 248 HP, and then 8 in defense. Moving on, we have Bouquet, our Shaman, with the Choice Specs, Natural Cure, Rocking Seed Flare, Air Slash, Earth Power, and Dazzling Gleam. This thing is just meant to punch holes in his team. It has enough speed to outspeed the Mimikyu, the rest is in special attack, and then HP. This is just meant to punch holes in his team. It has coverage for pretty much everything on his team, uh, and it's really, really good. Seed Specs, Seed Flares is going to wreck his team. His resistance is suspect seed flare. He's got Kyurem, which is which does not want to take it. He has Superior, which is not going to take it well. For the Kyurem, we have Dazzling Gleam. For the Superior, we have Air Slash. Uh, Aggro is not going to take it well. It doesn't want to take an Earth Power. Decidueye is not going to take it well. It doesn't want to take an Air Slash. Uh, Vivalon, still probably not going to take it well. It doesn't want to take an Air Slash. Delphox, doesn't want to take an Earth Power. And it's, again, not going to take it well. So his resistances to seed flare aren't really resistances. This thing is going to hit like a truck, and it's going to be really, really good this week, and I'm really excited for it. Next up, we have Arthur, our, uh, our Nido King, with the Choice Scarf this week in Sheer Force, with Earth Power, Sludge Wave, Focus Blast, and Shadow Ball. 
So this thing, uh, it really only needs Earth Power and Sludge Wave. Um, Focus Blast is only really there for the Kira, and then Shadow Ball is there just to hit the Decidueye of the Delphox for some reason, um, if I want to use that instead. With the Scarf, uh, without the Scarf, we outspeed a max speed Decidueye. With the Scarf, we obviously outspeed everything on its team. This is mainly just to come in uh, and to basically unexpectedly do something. Whether it's get a kill, uh, or just hit something really hard. We're basically trying to catch him off guard with the Scarf, outspeeding whatever is in. So we can even, you know, switch into... Switch in on a predicted Thunderbolt from a Raikou. And, you know, he wants to switch into Superior on the Earth Power. You know, we could, we could potentially outspeed that and get another Earth Power off before he Leaf Storms, or things like that. So we can play around with it, we can even bring it in, like on the Superior, he can be like, Oh, I'm just going to Leaf Storm this, and knock it out, or do a ton of damage, we outspeed, and we hit him with the Sludge Wave. So, this thing uh, is going to be pretty critical in this match, it does a lot of damage to everything on his team, so I'm pretty excited for this as well. Next up is Caesar R. Infernate, with the Leftovers and Blaze, with the Stealth Rocks, Fire Blast, Grass Dot, and Vacuum Wave. Now this stuff's kind of weird. Uh, it's bulky, it has enough speed to outspeed a uh, max speed Decidueye, uh, it has a modest nature with 216 in special attack, and then 248 in HP. So it's bulky to help handle the Aggron. So the Mega Aggron is a little bit of an issue, it has the Fire Blast to handle it, but its main job is to get up rocks for our Latias. If we can get up rocks, we're, we're set. Kira is weak to rocks, um, and Vivalon and Delphox are both weak to rocks. The weakness isn't so much isn't so much what I'm worried about, is with plus two, Latias does about like 84 to 96 to a lot, like to pretty much his whole team with Psychic. So if we can get those rocks up, we have a really good chance of sweeping with Lottie once we get the plus two. So uh, Vacuum Wave is just for a little bit of priority, just in case we need it, and it does a decent amount to the Kiram. Grass Knot is there for the Rhyperior as well. So this thing, the main, main job to get up rocks, and then to fire off some hits, potentially help us take on the Aggro. Last but not least, we have Swift, our Greninja, with the Expert Belt this week, and Protean. So we're not running Battle Bond this week, we're running Protean, with U-Turn, Low Kick, Ice Beam, and Toxic Spikes. So the Toxic Spikes are mainly there, just if we can get it up, we'll get them up. You know, it's good, it can be good for the Kier, it can be really good for the Mimikyu, it can be good for a lot of different things on his team. Rhyperior, wear those down. Ice Beam is mainly there for the, for the Superior, uh, and the Decidueye. So, we can take on those. U-turn, just for momentum purposes, I really wanted a U-turn, I really wanted momentum this week, and this thing can hit pretty hard with the U-turn. And then we have Low Kick for the Aggron for the Kira. So, this thing has good coverage for his team. Uh, we are outspeeding the Raikou, so we outspeed everything on his team with this thing, barring any Scarfers. Uh, the HP... Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. The attack allows us to Oko Kira Black after Rocks. So we Oko uh, Akira in black after rocks, and then the rest is dumped into HP. So hopefully this thing can shine, it can put in a little bit of work. The plan right now is to lead with Infernate and get up our stealth rocks, just to get those up right away, uh, and then we can go from there. I really wanted to try to fit in U-turn on Infernate, but it just didn't fit with the rest of the coverage we needed. So getting up rocks first, and then doing what we can to weaken this team, get rid of the threats we need to get rid of for Lottie, and then set up our Calm Lines and Sweep. So, We'll see what happens, uh, and I will see you guys in the battle. Thanks for watching.